Okay, for this project, I'm using Peaches and Cream yarn. It's a four ply, 100% cotton yarn. 100% cotton yarn, but of course you don't have to use cotton. Any type of four ply yarn will work. And then I'm gonna be using a size uh, H, and H is a five millimeter crochet hook. And we'll start off with the slip knot as usual. You want to start with a chain of four. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. If you want to do the magic circle here, that's fine. I'm starting with the flower, and this is going to be the center of the flower. Okay, I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to do 10 half double crochets through the center of the ring. Half doubles. 10 of them. One. Two. Three. Okay, I'm going to slip stitch into the first half double to close that round out. Now if you pull your tail, it can usually make that center circle a little bit smaller. Close it up a little bit. Like that. Okay, I'm actually going to clip my yarn here. Now you do not have to clip your yarn here. You can just slip stitch your new color through. I've had people ask me why um, I clip after every color change. I do that just for me because myself, as a crocheter, I can't I can't switch colors cleanly. I just something I can never been able to do. And in order for it to look clean when I switch colors, I got to clip off the old color and start fresh with the new. So that's why I do that. And I know it's extra tails, but it's worth it to me to have a clean color change. And I know, cause I know most people would have just slip stitched their new color through right there, but I'm not that good at that. So I do it this way and you can do it either way, whatever's easiest for you to change colors, you do it. Okay, and you're gonna start with a different color. This is gonna be the um, petal color. So, you can start in any stitch, and you want to be working in the front loop only for this round. So you can see how each stitch has two loops. There, and then the back loop. We're gonna be going in the front loop only. So just pick any stitch you want. And just go through the front loop of it like that and pull your yarn through and we'll and we'll start with a chain of three and then we're going to go back into the exact same stitch and do three double crochets all in that stitch one two three. Remember we're only going through the front loop. Now we're going to chain three. Go back into the same stitch and slip stitch. Like that. So that's our first petal. Now what we're going to do is go to the next stitch, the next one over, and slip stitch into the front loop. 
and then we're going to go to the next stitch, slip stitch into the front loop, and here's where we'll make our petal again. Chain three, go back into the same stitch and do three double crochets. One, two, three, chain three, and go back down and slip stitch into the same stitch. Like that. Again, go to the next stitch, slip stitch into the front loop only, and then slip stitch again in the front loop of the next stitch. And that's where we'll make our next petal. So we're going to have a total of five petals by the time we get all the way around. So you just want to repeat this. Just chain three. And then you do three doubles. One. Two. Three. Chain three. Go back through and slip stitch. Slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the front of the next one. And then we'll do another petal right here. Chain three. Three doubles. One, two, three, chain three, and slip stitch back into the same spot. And that is your fourth petal. You want to slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the front loop of the next <coughs> oh excuse me I was trying to hold that in and then do another leaf or another petal chain three three doubles one two Three, chain three, and slip stitch back into that same spot. And then you should have one stitch left, and you want to slip stitch into the front loop of it. And then go ahead and slip stitch back here into the very first uh, petal that we did. Like that. So that's part of the flower right there. Now what I'm going to do is work behind the flower now. I'm going to work in these back loops that we didn't work into before. So you can see then when you flip it over back loop, back loop. So I'm going to make another set of petals, but I'm going to put the petals staggered, so kind of like in between the rows. So I'm going to slip stitch into the back loop behind this petal. And then I'm going to slip stitch over in the back loop that's in between these petals. You just got to look for it. Right here is where we went in, so it's this loop right here. And this is where I'm going to make my first petal. I'm going to make this petal a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is chain four. And I'm going to do three triple crochets through it. So I'm going to wrap twice, go through, and do a triple. So that's one triple. Wrap twice again. Go through the same spot. You draw up a loop. Triple is where you yarn over and go through the first two loops. 
yarn over, go through the next set of two loops, and then yarn over and go through the last two loops. And you want to do a total of three of them. That. And then you want to do a chain four, two, three, four, and go down and slip stitch back down here in the same loop. Just like that. And then I'm going to slip stitch over into the next back loop. It's behind this next petal. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next back loop. You can see it right here. It's in between these two petals. Right there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a petal right here. Chain four. Three triple crochets. One. Two. Three. Chain four. Go back down and slip stitch into the same spot. Just like that. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next back loop. Oh, try that again. And then slip stitch again into the next back loop, which will be in between these two. And you can see it really clear right here. And that's where I'll make my next petal. So I'm just going to repeat this around what I'm doing. Chain four here. And do my three triples. Repeat this around until you get back over to where you started. And you should have five petals back here. Okay, when you after you finished your last petal, just go ahead and slip stitch right here into the last back loop that's there. And then you can tie it off. That got a few tails to hide, but so look something like this. Something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hide up these tails. And this is it. After you get all your tails hidden, you got a nice, quick, cute, little, easy flower. You can sew it on anything you want. This one's always been one of my favorite flowers. Um, I hope you enjo enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to check me out on Facebook. You can check me out on Google+, Pinterest, Twitter also. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't ever miss one of my tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.